Hi, it's Karen, the Weekend Craftaholic. Thanks for joining me. Today I wanted to do an unboxing and a first try kind of product review with the Singe Quill. Now, if you've seen any of my craft hauls, particularly the Spotlight one, you'll know that I've actually bought every quill there is. So I started with the Fall Quill. I'm just looking at my craft room now. I've got the Fabric Quill, the Glue Quill, the Bevel Quill, the Etch Quill and the Singe Quill. So I thought I'd start with this one only because I couldn't find anything on YouTube for it. So I thought if you're anything like me and you're interested in this product, you'd be having a look, see what it what it does. So I thought I'd start with this and over the coming weeks and whatnot, I will do a product review of all of the other quills for you. So I'm just showing you the box now and you can see the kinds of things that it does. And basically the contents seem to be the same in all of the kits. For every quill kit you get, there's always cutting machine adapters. So I've got the Cricut Maker. So I'll be using the one with the C, but you can see you get you can use it for your Silhouette Cameo. It does all of the main electronic cutting machines. In this particular kit, you also get a fine and a bold singe pen, as well as some wooden shapes to try. And I wondered how it did it, I'll be completely honest. When I saw the demo on We Are Memory Keepers, I thought maybe it actually heats in the wood as it's going, a bit like the foil, where it must heat up to activate the foil itself. But it doesn't, It. it I don't know what it does, the singe pen, but after you've actually got it through the machine, that's when you need to use your heat gun to activate the singe ink. So it's some kind of ink that goes on, whether it's some kind of sepia pen, I don't know. But let's dig in. Apologies for the noise. Let's dig in and have a look. So this is what you get in the box. So these are all our bits to try with. Now I must, must admit, because obviously it's going to go through a machine, there's only so much thickness you can do. So I think a lot of this will be more for chipboard pieces, that kind of thing. And you see here, this is what I was talking about with the adapters. So it's a bit of a shame that we are Memory Keepers have decided to actually sell and package these products this way. Because in terms of waste, you know, not many people I would imagine are going to keep this for every single quill product they've got. I, I wish they'd have just sold these separately as well as these. But, um, you know, just a way of reducing packaging, reducing unnecessary waste. Because from the looks of it, all I need really from this is this. And I'm going to quickly show you, with the, with the glue quill, I did nearly buy the package box until I also read the back and realised what was included. And basically all you need is the glue quill pens, because if you've got any of the quill products, you'll already have the adapters, and this is where the magic happens. So if you've not purchased any of this yet, I would say if you've already got one of the quill products, maybe don't buy it in the full packaging unless you need to hopefully they will bring out i'm sure they've got to bring out replacement singe quills at some point you know these pens are going to run out so i presume they're going to sell replacements on their own so this is still a relatively new product so hopefully that's what they do and if you want to hold out until you've got one of those and say all of this wasted packaging would be great so Let's open the little box and see. Now, of course, um, a lot of us do already own chipboard. You could, I guess, use balsa wood with this. I know a lot of people with the Cricut machines, um, the Cricut Maker, um, will cut out balsa wood, so you could even cut your own shapes and whatnot. So I'll just have a quick look at what's in. I love the fact they've got the little leaves, which is obviously the kind of the quill brand. Different gift tags, some nice bigger piece here. Um, I guess these are just to make some little diamond key rings, some little signs. Now before I do anything else, let's have a quick look at the instruction manual. And it's in uh, four different languages, as you can see. And you can see here the quick start. So this, different adapters for your silhouette, your brother, your Cricut or your Sizzix machine. And you can see you literally just put the, the pen into the adapter and then that goes into the holder. Then you draw your pattern as normal and then you heat gun it to bring it out. So, it's just some safety messages, setting up, select the coordinated pen adapter, insert the quill into the machine, select the desired wood ephemera or sheet, be sure to place on the mat an area where it's clear of the roller or star wheels, and then follow the machine's operating instructions, remove from the mat. Tips and tricks, it works on wood, paper, cardstock, board, 
so if you've not got a heat gun it looks like you can also just put the the wood into an oven for a few minutes as well to activate it I wonder if you could maybe use a hairdryer as well that might be another way of doing it and that is it pretty simple so the first thing I'm going to do move over to my laptop open up Cricut Design Space and see what they have got for this so this is my design studio and I'm going to assume if you've got one of these machines you know how to create your own graphics but what I've decided to do here is just a couple of love hearts and I'm just using the shapes that come with Cricut Design and it does normally set at cut so I'm just changing that now to draw so anything you need to do with any of the quill pens you always need to change the settings to draw. I'm then going to group them together and attach them and I'm going to move the image so it's placed in the right spot where my chipboard piece is on the cutting mat. I'm using a strong grip mat as well and I should say at this point I did choose the wrong chipboard piece. It wasn't the 0.37, it was the 2.mm that comes in the pack and also remember to move your stair wheels out of the way as well so it can feed through under the mat. Okay, so you've seen me on the laptop just position where I want this to be cut and this as you can see is a 2 inch by 2 inch circle and I want the love heart shape to be just within that. So now it's prompting me to load my black pen because I'm not going to load the black pen. I'm going to load this and I'm going to choose, actually I'm not going to choose the bold one. I'm going to choose the fine one and it doesn't actually say which direction to put it in like it does with your Cricut pens. Oops. But there we go, we've got that in. Now this was actually my second run through because as I mentioned earlier, I did have the wrong chipboard piece set in initially. And even though I did do this one with the right settings at two millimeters, it still wasn't actually making an impression. So I was concerned that I'd not got the pen placement right, but I realized it was just the flow of the pen that wasn't working initially. So just remember to take that out and get the flow working before you start using the pen. If you have a Cricut machine, I suggest you check the impression of the pen before you unload the mat. Because if you can't quite see it, then you can redo the image again just by pressing the C button and it will redraw the design again for you in the right spot. I'm trying to show you a close-up here. If you can just about see the faint lines of it, it's very hard to see, but you can see an image. Okay guys, I'm going to take this off and I have to say, a little bit of trial and error, I think I finally got there. I don't know if you can kind of see there's an outline of the love has but let's get our let's move all this out of the way our heat gun and we see if the magic actually happens so i've actually sped this up for you just because it does take a couple of minutes for that impression to come through and again one of the top tips i would have for you is the longer you leave it over an area the darker it goes so if you wanted to achieve a kind of ombre effect that was quite easily done so i really do actually love the design that comes out of this you can see here just the way it goes um, i did originally leave it on the glass mat because i know that was heat proof but then i actually found i got better results by holding it with the tweezers So I think that's enough for the demo and that is super hot I have to say so you can see I'm using my tweezers to hold it now a couple of things I wanted to say I had this on chipboard settings it was a um, heavy chipboard because it was two millimeters and I actually ran it through a couple of times in the Cricut machine I think only because I felt it needed the pen um, Maybe because it's the first time use, but it felt like it needed to go over the pen more than once. So if you're a bit cautious like me, first time using it, maybe keep it in the machine. If you've got Cricut, you can press the C button, the Cricut button, without unloading your mat, and it will do the placement. You can see I've got a slightly different placement because I did unload the mat, but I actually quite like the effect. I actually quite like the effect you can get with this. You can see it's almost like an ombre because um, I was keeping the heat in that place for quite a while and you can see it's gone a lot darker than the other places so I think these would actually be really cool as masculine gifts um, it, you know it's got that more masculine feel to it because of the chipboard um, I can absolutely see sentiments for example on these strips make your own little sentiment strips the other thing that I thought of whilst it was going through the machine is you know these are just pens so I don't even think you need a machine for it so I'm going to try on one of these little leaves actually, just test this out and use, um, this is a bold pen. So I am not an artist by any stretch of the imagination, but I just want to give this a try as well because I'm thinking, you know, you don't have to invest in an expensive machine 
to take advantage of some of these products, even though they're marketed, obviously, at people with electronic die cutting machines. Um, especially if you you know you just want to test it out these are these are relatively inexpensive the kit itself it was 25% off and I paid 27 Australian dollars for it which I thought was pretty reasonable um, any more I probably would have given it a miss because I don't use a lot of chipboard um, certainly not in my paper crafting but then I thought this might be a nice cool way of making other gifts you know that's not related to paper crafting um, so as I'm using this pen now, I think I'm having the same issue that I was before with the other paper. So I think it might just be first time use issue. So I'm just going to hold it down. I feel like it needs a bit of time for the ink or I don't know what the fluid is inside to start coming through. So I'm hoping it's just because it's the first time. Um, there you go, that looks a little bit better. So rather than do any more let's just have a look and see so not the best leaf design maybe i should have used the fine tip rather than the bold but you can see here this was just hand drawn this was done on the machine. Um, you, I honestly don't feel you need to have an electronic die cutting machine to purchase this quill product. Um, it's basically just a couple of pens that you can heat activate. So I love the effect. Let's try it on paper. So I'm not going to go crazy. Let's do OK for Karen. And I did speed this up as well for you, but I actually found it was a lot quicker for the impression to come through on the paper than it was for the chipboard. There you go, and you can see it absolutely does do it on paper. Overall product review, let's get to that. If it's less than $30, I would say absolutely go for it. It's a lot of fun to use. It's something different. You can pers If you like to personalize gifts, this is a great way of doing it. I do like the fact that you get all these bits and pieces to play with. Um, this is a good little starter set and I presume, I don't know, that they'll sell these in bundles as well to buy for when you run out. But for initial review from an unboxing and first time use of the product, pretty straightforward, easy to use. I had a little bit of difficulty getting it in the machine. I wasn't sure I fell down because it wasn't making an imprint initially. But you can see here, there's a little bit of a gap. I thought maybe I wasn't pushing it down enough. Um, I think it was just the pen hadn't been used. So if you're using it for the first time, just bleed some of that fluid out first before you start and give it a go for yourself. I'd love to hear what you think if you've got it, you've got some ideas of what it could be used for. And like I say, hopefully they just bring out the pens themselves because I think that would be a really good product in anyone's toolkit. If you've already got some of the quill products and the adapter that you need. So thank you for watching. I'll be reviewing the glue quill next. That one I'm really excited to see. So if you're interested in seeing that as well, please hit subscribe. And if you like this video, please leave me a comment and I hope to see you next time. Thank you for joining me. Hey, thanks for watching. If you've got any comments about this video, please leave them below. I'd love to see them. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. That way YouTube knows to recommend similar ones for you. And finally, if you'd like to see more from me, and I hope so, please subscribe by clicking the link below. I post new content every weekend.